Thank you for listening to Two Talking Our Souls. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only and may deal with adult topics and adult themes. Hitler loves music. Oh, and Hitler loves you. Ah, hello, good afternoon, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever day or whatever time it is you're listening to this wonderful podcast special, May 2020, with me, Steve Hen, and over there we have... Av, Mr. Singh. So this is a bit more of a highlights package, isn't it, Av, where we talk about different things over the last few weeks? Yes. Just share, like, subscribe. It's all you've got to do. And then me and Av will be back next week with a new intro. That's, that's where Stevie spends the money. I don't know, the time, the time, the time. Um, time. What, um, what do you think we should keep the song? Done. What? Done. Keep it. Yeah, done. Done. What are you saying? I said you hi with hey. Is you uh, <laughs> And you said done. I thought you said should we should we keep going? I said are we done? <laughs> no, I said shall we keep the song? And you went done. And I'm thinking, have I been? Well you can change it if you want. Yeah. I don't want to. I bothered. think I think I think what do you mean you're not bothered? It was your... If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have had it. No. You you wanted to call it in and up and down and round a town in the brown town. Yeah. Whatever it was you wanted to call it. The first one. In fact, that's what I'll do. I'll give £50 to anyone who mentions what I've called the show in the first episode. I hope no one comments. That means you have to do some work and look at it. <laughs> who, no, I know, I know exactly what you said. Oh, you know, you know. Well, not exactly, but it, it'll it'll be a fair approximation of whatever it is that uh, Sandy from uh, the Lickies puts. Hey, that's who's going to win, Sandy from the Lickers. Lickers, <laughs> the Lickies. She's our, our number one fan. She? Yeah, we've we've we've, we've got Janet from uh, Germany, uh, John from Middlesex. No, you haven't. Yeah, we've got loads of listeners, mate. Loads. You named two. Loads. Three. <laughs> Three. Loads. Three is enough. Three is... Three is... Three is enough. And so is an egg. I wonder if there's any vegan conservatives. It, that's like... Av, Av, you've just opened a can of worms there. That's like sitting here and then and putting your thinking head on and going, I wonder if there's any gay footballers. Surely, well, statistically, there has to be vegan... Conservatives, there has to be, there has to also, by definition, there has to be at least one decent conservative. Well, but no, no, but honestly, you think about it, right? A vegan conservative, it's like a unicorn, that is, isn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I know what you're saying, but I'm sure so if you're conservative, your your natural instinct is to have meat and blood. <laughs> <laughs> Blood. Yeah. And money. Conservative vegan. As in MPs. Ooh, there's actually a fucking website, Av. For MPs. We, MPs. We are the vegan conservatives, the vegan and vegan friendly caucus of the Conservative Party. Our aim is to promote veganism for the benefit of human health, animal welfare, for an environment within the Conservatives. We welcome vegans as long as they're not <laughs> going to Rwanda. Find out if there's any MPs, but I wonder if there's any non-racist conservatives. See now, you see now, you're just taking the piss. <laughs> I mean, vegans, I could, I could see possibility, possibility, <gasps> possibility. <laughs> oh, don't, don't eat chicken, don't eat lamb. They're beautiful creatures. But send those browns to Rwanda now. 
It's, it's just telling me that uh, they all support Veganuary, these Conservatives. It's not like you're going to see Jacob Rees-Mogg um, with a carrot in his mouth uh, yeah, well, saying look. you won't touch meat again. <laughs> nanny! Should I, nanny! I should rephrase that. Is there any Conservative MP who doesn't touch the meat? Um, I've got a quote from a couple of Conservatives which you suggest that there aren't any vegan Conservatives. Uh, Mark Garner, MP, said... I'm participating in Veganuary because I am keen to sample new foods and try out healthier diet. Henry Smith, MP, said, I've been vegetarian for over 30 years. James Daly, MP, said, I'm looking forward to taking part in Veganuary to learn more about plant-based diet. You're telling me these guys might have a secret steak on a Sunday. A secret steak on a Sunday. Love it. Love it. Yeah. I'd lo- I, do you know what? I love a secret one or... An out there one. I don't mind. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hide my steak from anyone. Said conservatives. Yeah, hey, conservatives. Are we ready for SS? Super. Oh, Sunday steaks. Steak Sunday. Secret Sunday. Secret steak Sunday. Sunday steak. Steak secret. Secret Sunday. Secret state. Secrets. Steak secret. That's right. They're always releasing steak secrets. When you said SS, Av, I actually thought you meant... What? The SS? Uh, the Nazis. No, uh, the DHSS. That was a honest mistake. They're all great. The Conservatives, anyone who votes Conservative is great. Anyone who's going to vote Conservative is great. All the people in the Conservatives are great. Uh, we're just so lucky to live in a country when Conservatism is going to last for 20 years. And all thanks to Boris Pifefel Alexander Johnson. I'm going to go to my doctors this week. What? I've started to talk shit. You started. Do you know? Right, I heard this, and I don't know if it's true. So I, I'm only I only heard it, but apparently, what was that? <laughs> tape. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to keep a pocket of tape. <laughs> keep the tape in my pocket. You know, it wasn't me. It was the tape. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, we have immigrants from Ara- Rwanda coming here illegally. And also the word illegally is not right. It's because we've stopped every legal means of getting into the country. So anybody who comes here now is, by definition, illegal because we've stopped every way of them coming into this country. I I just get so annoyed when they say, well, you know, all these people traffickers, they're killing them. They're killing. We've got to stop the people traffickers. Get a fucking big boat and let people get it on and then say, right, once you get here, we'll we'll process you. I just fucking get to my nerves. Apparently. I was thinking, you know, when I heard about Rwanda, right, a song popped in my head, Steve. I don't think it Whoa, on. I'm going to Rwanda. No, no. It was, a, it was the World Cup song by Shakira. This time for Africa. I don't know. I love Shakira. Yeah. Because she had one of my favourite lyrics ever. She did just all this like sort of jazz mumbling, and jazz then she goes, mumbling. "Yeah." Is that, is that, is that... And she's dancing with these African dancers, and then she goes, "This time for Africa." All, all I kept thinking was, for probably a uh, pretty pretty going around thing singing, "This time for Rwanda," and then doing a jazz beatboxing. I'm hoping this, this young people can listen to this, but you keep saying that word, not going to get. Oh, me, is it Waka Waka? That's it, yeah, yeah. Waka Waka. Yeah. This time for Rwanda. Have we, have we heard enough? Yeah. This time for Rwanda. So, so that was the World Cup song from 2010, and 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 you wanted to say Waka Waka Rwanda. Yeah, I think that's what in my head Preach Patel singing that song <laughs> when she's uh, singing the words. Then them to Wacka Wacka Rwanda. 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 I see, because I do like, I do like, see, I do like Shakira because any person, any like Lily Allen managed to to get suicidal to rhyme with Credence Clearwater Revival, which I think is genius. Old, oh. <laughs> Shakira in her in her number one hit whenever wherever uh, had the the wonderful line lucky that my breasts are small and humble. So I've never met mountains. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I I've never met a humble breast. I met a, t- That's I met all... a massive tit, uh, Boris. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his back he's waiting ages to, for me to call him a cunt and then he's waiting 20 minutes so he can call me a massive tit I'm hoping put it in the comments people if you enjoy watching porn with your partner uh, then just put it in your comments uh, give us a thumbs up now if you like watching porn with your partner yeah. I'll just leave you on this you know you're talking about give us a thumbs stuff, up right? now full stop <laughs> I went to set same please and they had a top shelf right and it, they had the the naughty mags in plastic sleeves that you couldn't see mm. right like it was probably the top the top yeah a little bit of the top right and it was called and it was the section was called hobby and lifestyles <laughs> it's right, it probably it's a life is it a hobby a sex isn't a hobby well look at that is probably a hobby isn't it uh, but i was like I suppose what no, is... you're right because it's DIY. But it is that. It is that. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. Who, who in their right mind buys that in a supermarket? That is funny because I, I can't buy toilet rolls in a supermarket. Why? I just feel embarrassed because people think, "Oh, you're going to wipe your ass with that." I can't do it. I have to get it online. Mind you, talking of getting toilet rolls online, how is your subscription to seven thousand toilet rolls? Uh, I've, got, I've got I've got nine to last me a week before my next batch comes in. Uh, I right. don't know if we saw that with Av. We think we did, didn't we, in the hen nights? Av, Av either made a mistake one day or he didn't, but he ended up with with with, with three thousand toilet rolls during the lockdown. <laughs> Not quite that much, but I I didn't need to worry about toilet rolls <laughs> because of that mistake. But, but you're right. I could not. I couldn't. I mean, I I could not buy a porn magazine in in, in Sainsbury's. I could not. I, I find it hard now when I, I have to buy underpants as well. I don't want yeah, them I, um, going down the the, the 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 conveyor belt. Unexpected item in bagging area. I used to. I used to have a, I was a teenager. And I used to do summer uh, summer job. I used to help a uh, family friend. He's a market trader selling um, trainers and shoes and lady fashion shoes market trader and we went to uh, we used to go like further afield like Hemmer Hempstead was the biggest, okay. must be the biggest outdoor market in Europe and one day he says to me because uh, can you do me a favor because yeah because can you get, get I don't know anything about papers and stuff because can you get me this paper I'm too busy I went, okay and he goes uh tell me where it was I said yeah I'll go, I'll go, I'll go and get it so I went to remember I was, I was only like 16 15 16 say 15 it will sound better I was, you know, I was, yeah, I was just that age, yeah. and then uh, I went to the little guy. He's got this little new stand in the market. And he goes, right, son. I says, I said, yeah, can I have paid, please? Because which one? Uh, uh, Sunday Sport. And he, he looked at me and goes, "You want the Sunday Sport?" I was like, "Yeah, want Sunday Sport." He looked like a right dirty bastard, didn't he? Because have you seen the Sunday Sport? <laughs> Seen it? Seen it? He's embarrassing. Nothing... Is it embarrassing though? Well, it's just I, I, well, I... it's sh- it's sh- it's wrong now because it, you, it's it's just it's wrong because it it's wrong on many levels. But when it was allowed and and people, it but was like, boobs, wasn't it? It was boobs yeah, so everywhere. Hundred times boobs. worse. Is it There's nothing a hundred times worse than boobs. Boobs are lovely. Boobies. I might want to cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favourite jokes, and I can't remember it now. What kind of bees make milk? Um, I don't know. Boobies. That's it. So you brought the Sunday sport, and you felt bad. Well, I look like a little little pervy shit, you know. But I, there was a woman I used to live with. Her, she used to allow her 12, 13 year old son to get the Sunday sport. Yeah, I've, I've got this mentality. I think I'm just too old for mom certain mentality of an old person I think when I was 19 something happened and I just stayed 19 in my body I can't in my head I mean I can't get out of it I'm still a kid there's nothing I can do about it but if you come back next week saying boobies
Oh dear. I tell you something. I did actually, uh, and I felt really bad and uncomfortable before the pandemic. So two years before the pandemic. So that's 2017. Went to see brilliant, 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 brilliant uh, musician and guitar and singer uh, called Billy Pettinger. He used to be called Billy the Kid. Uh, from Canada, now lives in America, uh, in Alabama. And she is brilliant, 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 brilliant. Go and have a listen to Billy Pettinger or Billy the Kid. But I went down to Swindon to see her in a pub type venue uh, in 2017. And I went down and I walked into, I, I had a drink and I needed a wee. So I walked into the, the gentleman's toilets, which is like old gentlemen's toilets with a long urinal down the wall and it was plastered all it didn't have wallpaper it was just page three girls post and this was like in 2017 just stuck to the wall that's not the right word to use pasted to the wall all the way around the toilet and i felt uncomfortable and i felt that was not not uncomfortable uncomfortable but i'm thinking it's 2017 what on earth is this doing in in in, in, a, in a in a wee wee place she was brilliant, though. Billy Pettinger. That's the first time I met her. And met her again? Yes, yes, I did. I did. In Kettering. With with the Fed sisters. The Fed sisters were supporting. And uh, I went. she invited me back to, to have Smallsborgs, where she was staying. I was a big fan. And, and we sort of keep in touch now and again. Uh, and I did a video for her. I had a stare down with a rooster on a back county road. It's like he wanted to square off without you. It feels crazy laughing about it for days after the fact if I told you. I would know by the look on your face it really is that funny. And you'd be laughing at it for days but I just drove to the city Cause the noise gives me something to do She's got such a lovely voice. She's very funny because like people would come up to her and say I love this song and I love this or I love your guitar and, and she'd go it loves you too and I said to her I said I do love your voice and she said it, it loves you too but if anyone said anything to her like I love this or I love that she'd always reply and it loves you too which I thought was quite sweet. It sounds very tempting to try and uh, mess with her head on that one. Say what? Mess with her head? Yeah. I'm going to say it now. I'm, go I'm going to try and say it to everybody now anyway if they say I love well, go on. Pretend I'm... Yeah. Hitler loves Thank music. <laughs> No. But no, but you're not you're not going up to somebody and saying, I love your music, I love your CDs, I love your records, I love your jumper, right? You're saying Hitler loves music. So they don't have to come back with anything. They go no, they You're a you're a fucking weirdo. Right. No, if she's that her answer to everything's that like, No, not everything, but like because you're home, right? If I said I love your comedy Av, I think you're hilarious, right? And I always say that to people. And you start going, oh, I'm feeling uncomfortable now. I don't like it when people say nice things to me. So I think that's all it is. You're just saying a nice mm -hmm. thing to her and she's re trying to say nice in, things back. In, she's in a positive head, person. It, in my head, it, it, it becomes like you don't really mean it, you're just saying it. I appreciate it, your time it, coming having a chat with me. He says, oh, I love you too. I love this, I love that. Yeah, now fuck off. Well, let's just have a little recap then. Uh, we were talking about Rwanda, Pity Patel, Boris Johnson, something else what else twitter titter billionaires. billionaires who want to buy titter i'll tell you what just let's think and then we can say that again you ready yeah which ones are you going to say oh, let's go. <laughs> it's like a fucking goldfish here. <laughs> all right well, that was the week that was, where we talked about, Av. We talked about Rwanda. Kinder Eggs. Nigel Farage. Titter. Ye not. Titter. <laughs> Say goodbye, Av. I will see you. No doubt. 
Is that it? Is that your, that's your sign off now. Yeah. I shall see you. No doubt. I doubt it, said the monkey as he pissed on the fire. Right, so that's the week that was. Anything else you want to say, Av? Uh, no. Thanks, Av. <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the show. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and share this because it will help us. And don't forget to tune in next week, 8pm Monday. Ta-ra! Oh, so... <laughs>